the Mua Afonso tournament is going on right now in front of Mua Afonso Paris. Mm. Well, normally we are political okay. and we made sure the youth, all the youth in the Northwest region, mm -hmm. I joy to see them okay. happy and to see people are supporting them to also make the government to know this is what is happening. Do the youth leaders in our areas know you? For example, like my own youth leader in my in Mua, the, I never heard him talk about um, this national, about youth national youth, this thing. Uh, at the level of, I'm at the level of the region. region. Okay. Maybe so normally, are you for Northwest? I'm for Northwest region. So he should. He, he should. should. There is a Cameroon National Youth Premier. I have one of my president. I have yes. 34 persons in all the 34 yeah. subdivisions. Yeah. Okay. And the person was entirely told me about the tournament which took place in Barigan. The one which took place in Alvin. Where it took place in Alcum. He has not mentioned the one which is taking place in Moa. Uh, but now that you have informed me, I will call him and tell him to make. Only in the in the yeah. So it's a tournament with with the purpose to bring you together. If you see I think I, now that you've informed me, it I will, takes place every year. Yes, I will inform the <laughs> my president in Santa yes. to follow up and make sure during the Christmas of the tournament he should be there. Yes. To represent the youth council. Well, that's correct. Because first of all, we are a political. Yeah. And uh, it is our duty to see that all those things are happening. Yeah. And we we acknowledge people like you who have helped in sponsoring such a tournament mm -hmm. to keep youth alive. Yeah. I think it's a very wonderful thing. I'm very impressed. Mm -hmm. Very happy. There's but it is where most elites they don't want to do that. No, yeah. So it's, it's something that um, I do every year. And one of the reasons is to bring peace in the, in the, you know, in the community. Yeah. So. Is the clan so we should contribute. Yes. <laughs> we should actually be encouraged to contribute, contribute because uh, it's it our pride. You know? yeah. So basically, I was trying to say that I have a different vision. So how I see this differently. No, the fact that you uh, live overseas, you definitely have a different yeah, area so to see. I, my, my interest is Africa's union. I want to see Africa getting one currency. Mm. If Africa gets a single currency, then poverty is one kind of steps down by 40%. Why? If this guy says... I follow what Kenya said, even the president of uh, South Africa, Sirimo. So we don't want uh, Africans who want to align with the West without considering Africa first. Mm. So the people that I like to call it, people like George Magafuli, mm -hmm. who is no more. So I will tell you why I'm, I'm, I'm calling his name. Mm -hmm. That's the president of Tanzania. Mm -hmm. When he came to power, he stopped taking aid from you, mm -hmm. from the West. He made new agreements on how to pay back the aid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Within five years, the, ship, the shipping line, or let's say the, sh the, the, the sea transport, mm -hmm. the air transport, they had all collapsed. Mm -hmm. They all came back up. He re I mean, everything was over again. Mm -hmm. How did he end? So he ended up building new companies, um, you know, unemployment reduced. He could just come to a hospital anytime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He could just enter a school anytime. He tested trains on railways and things like that. He transformed Tanzania in five system. years in such a way that if you had given him 10 or 15 years, he would have seen it. It would have been comparable to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when but we, why don't they, they would not want to? No, they wouldn't want to. So during COVID nineteen, that's when he died. How can they kill him? And he died. He died in his country. You know, in, in keeping with, with his words. So the point is, most of us in Africa, we believe that um, there's a place called the West that is better than Africa, which is not true. I often tell them when I go to the US, I find places that are worse than Benin. What? Yes. Even in South Africa, have somebody taken you around? Uh, everywhere is nice. South Africa is a beautiful Oh, sorry. They're only taking you to the nice places. Mm. Mm? It's like they come to Bermuda, they take you to commercial venue. Mm. They take you to up station. They don't take you to other places where even a lot of people are staying there. Then you are going to think that uh, Bermuda, that, that's all about Bermuda. There are places here that there's no way in Pinyin that resembles them. Am I lying? It's true. I can get into my car right now and take you to one of them that is less than 15 minutes from here. What we don't have in Africa is good governance, good leadership. I'm not one of the advocates of democracy because I see that Africa, democracy does not work so well for Africa. I'll give you an example. And negligence for people don't want it's to be. It's a style. That's why, um, you see, that's why we want to, if, if we find.
very new to that. So we need to read a lot. We need to be exposed and we see these things so that we know them. Mm -hmm. But who is going to change uh, our own place? It's, it's us, not those our fathers who are old 